close the store. It's a little after five o'clock on Saturday, March 9th, 2024. Uh, I just put in the pallets, brought everything in. First thing I do is I go grab the signs. <clears throat> go grab the signs that I put out in front of the building in the driveway. Well, to the side of the driveway. The, ban the big banner, huge banner, and the um, sandwich board that has a sign on either side. So people drive by, they can see it from either direction. And then the banner can be seen from one direction. Um, yeah, and so I just brought that in. I roll in this one here, the audio books, which sits outside of the door. The normal front door sits out over here for the duration of being open. And then I have to move this table out of the way. I just basically slide it back and forth and it sits in the middle of the CD racks when I'm open and then I slide it over so that I can put in the three pallets or Gaylords. The first Gaylord is empty. Well, it doesn't have any media. It just has some boxes and whatnot. And then a, pa a pallet on top. <clears throat> There's actually two pallets below. The other two are full of CDs that I have yet to go through because I still have another five boxes back there of CDs um, to finish first. So that's, it, it really evolved. Uh, I used to take, have to take a lot longer uh, because I had a table out here and a table out here. I had to take everything off of those, put the tables in, uh, the whole thing. So that took a little bit longer. Decided to get rid of those to make it really simple to open the store and close it. <clears throat> um, the, only, the only pain in the butt is the pallets, which I am the only one that does that. So that's why when, uh, Today I did not need help working. Um, last like month or so I've needed help on Saturdays. <clears throat> last three or four weeks, three or four Saturdays, and uh, this one I didn't, so I was able to bring them in. But uh, when I when I do not work, I have to pull them out uh, and then put them uh, back in the back in because he he's not doesn't know how to do it. So, which is fine. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice if he knew. But also the other thing is. It's really narrow here, and it's I, multiple times I've hit the bookshelf, and several times I've hit the, the CD racks, but thankfully uh, they've been fine. I just kind of toppled over the CDs that are in there, so I just had to push them back. Um, I just recently hit this, hit the bookshelf, and as you can see, it's splitting there, so I gotta be really careful that it doesn't completely come down because uh, I do use that and then if it comes down I'm gonna have to find one which you know is just a pain take all the books out all the stuff so so I got through everything closing I'm gonna <clears throat> after I finish this video I'm gonna take off I just have to pull my sign which I have at the major intersection <clears throat> down the street let's see if the lights turn on so the thing that I'm most thrilled about today that I had a chance to do which I have not had a chance to do for the last two weeks is I actually photographed all of the new inventory that's going out, <clears throat> all of that stuff piled there and in the box that's going out for next week. So I was able to photograph everything and uh, now I just have to put it out. <laughs> so the photographing takes a little bit of time um, and basically I'm halfway done with the battle. So aside from actually <clears throat> putting the photos in the newsletter and on social media, but that's awesome. I was able to do that. I'm continuing to put out a lot of records. Those are all the records that are going out this week, this next week, which is a good amount. Um, this past week, I sold a good amount. <clears throat> There's what I have left from this past week. It's, yeah, I, probably, I probably sold close to half, but not quite of what I put out. So still good. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be redistributing those or distributing those throughout the, all the records that are already out there. <clears throat> but that was the big deal for me today. No one bought this <laughs> yet, which is um, the entire Star Trek The Next Generation series, which is seven seasons. I'm selling for $60. Pretty cool. Um, I did sell The Shield, uh, the TV show from a while back, all seven seasons. Someone came and bought that. I purchased it last week. And then sold it this week, so that's always nice. Um, 
Yeah, and so what I end up doing here is I end up putting back like everything that's out here I'll put back and I'll put new stuff. Same with the table out there in the front. And then over here I put a bunch of, as many as I can fit, in the new DVDs and sometimes TV shows and I'll, I'll put some up there as well to display them, <clears throat> the new ones that have gone out for the week. But I'm pretty excited about how the, the vinyl's been moving. Um, I have a ton more. <laughs> I've got a lot. I mean, I showed you what I had in the in the bathroom. I essentially still have that. Just uh, I've gone through a little bit more of it, but there's still like a lot in there. Four crates and one box. This is the stuff I've already gone through, and then I'm, I'm still I'm going through this smaller box, which I'll finish this next week and start digging into another box. But it should take me several months to get through everything. I mean, if I if I just tackled the whole thing I could do it I could do it much sooner but of course I am doing so much more uh, than just records so I'm not able to get through all of it at once but a lot of progress here I, I cleared out all the boxes that were there now I'm, now I'm tackling these five <clears throat> boxes of CDs that's the next big stack to tackle this week see how far I get with that and once I get through all of that then <clears throat> I can clear or I can start going through uh, these boxes there's a bag back there of books which are mostly romance novels i need to organize them and see what i really have um i don't even know if there's enough space on this table i might have to use two tables because there's so many books uh, i just need to make sure you know how many there are per author and if they're even worth it really um possibly putting some of the better ones down in the second location seeing how that goes putting some here see how that goes there's a ton of one author and it looks like it can sell on eBay. I'll just sell them on eBay uh, to get rid of them, make some money, free up some space. But uh, that's the next big, uh, <laughs> that's after all the CDs. So that's still going to take a while, but it might take another two weeks, a uh, week and a half, two weeks to get to the books. But um, it just depends on how how much, you know, I've been focusing, how, how, how quickly I can get through these. A box takes a little bit of time, but uh, I'm already stacking them up over here. I'm getting even more ruthless about what I'm <clears throat> gonna go through like those are all ones I don't need to go through I'm just pulling the discs that's ones I'm gonna scan to check if there's anything good and there's some other stacks of stuff but um but yeah I am excited to get through those boxes because once I get through all the CDs and then I get through all the romance novels I figure out what I'm gonna do with all of them and then I'm on the other side of that and this is also while I continue to slowly go through the records so that's why it takes so long um because I do need to clear out space, uh, I'll probably I'll probably end up tackling a lot of the records actually um, before I really dive into uh, the other two Gaylords of CDs. Just because the the records are taking up so much space, um, there's a lot of good money in there, so I really want to sort them out so that then I can have them all organized in the bathroom like I had before. I, I had like four or five crates there, uh, and then you know they're all done, so I have back stock for a long, long time. And I can um, I can just pull from them as I need them. By the way, Curtis Blow record here, the breaks. If you know, then you know. If you don't know, well, you don't know. But such a cool cover, classic right there. Uh, that pull, I pulled that out of the record. So so there's very few records that I keep. Certain ones, uh, <clears throat> but I tend to keep CDs because I grew up with CDs. CDs that I want but um, anyway yeah so that's talking through it it's probably going to end up being that once I get to that point I'm going to continue to slowly go through the records but once I get to the point of getting through all the CDs here all the boxes all the boxes of, of books and then I've pointed out before I've got other boxes of books over there from that same hall donation uh, then yeah then it'll free up a lot of space and then I'll, and I'll probably tackle even more the records because I can imagine being on the other side of that and then I can finally get into these, these those gay lords, uh, and that's making major progress. So in the next month, ideally, I am getting you know in four weeks from now, ideally, worst case scenario, I'm, I still have some records to go through. Best case, I'm through the records and I'm now getting into these gay lords, <clears throat> which will take a while, <laughs> but at least I can start getting through them, uh, you know, start that process. But I'm not quite there yet. So that's why I'm not going to the thrift store on Tuesdays. Why, um, yeah, I've been focusing on what I have right here. 
Uh, I also have books in the bathroom of the second location, my bookstore that uh, I'm still slowly going through when I'm down there. I put a little time into that as well. So there's just a lot of inventory I need to go through uh, that I need to eliminate and sort out. So it's it's good that I have all this and people keep bringing me stuff. Like today, someone brought me two small boxes of books. Um, more than half of them I'm gonna put in the store. So that was nice, <clears throat> about 10 or so books. Um, but yeah, that's where I am. Just a little update. Uh, I'm going to take off now. And my other store is open, which is awesome. I'm going to check the stats, see how that's going. There is a, an event going on down there. Hopefully that helps out, brings more people into the store. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.